First, we give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the one who is head of our life. We have so much to tell and thank you for, for we do thank him for his grace and his mercy and the thing that he has done for all mankind. It is not God's will that any man will perish. If a man perish, he will perish because of his own unbelief. But Jesus has opened the door for all mankind. On today, on today, we want to look at the book of Romans. Romans, the first chapter, first through the 32nd verses. And our message today is the power of the gospel of Christ and the gift of mankind. Amen. God have the power that we may be able to follow him and the gift of man follow things containing to this world. But Paul is telling us how that if we follow Jesus, he's able to do what no other power can do. When we follow the way of mankind, that they're the way of the devil. Because when we were born in this world, we were born in sin and shape and iniquity. And we didn't have no hope. But our hope come through the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He loved us so well that he left heaven and come down on the face of this earth to die for the sin of the whole entire world. And we call that love at its best. And he didn't die for a few peoples, but he died for the sin of the whole entire world. And all we have to do is accept what he is offering. Well then, what is he offering? He is offering eternal and everlasting life. Who is he offering it to? All mankind. And our job is to accept. So we're going to deal with things containing to God and Jesus in the Holy Ghost way. And then we're going to deal with things containing to the gift of man. The gift of man. Amen, sisters and brothers. It the worst thing that we can do is to follow uh, the tradition of man. And let's go to the book. Let's go to the book. Again, Romans, the first chapter, first through the 30 second verse. Again, I was subject to the power of the gospel of Christ and the guilt of mankind. It reads like this, Romans 1, 1, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be apostles, separated into the gospel of God. Paul is talking about himself. Amen. He was separated. Amen. Into this gospel of grace. Well, when did it happen? When he accepted Jesus Christ on the master's road, this man become a brand new creature. He began to deal with spiritual things after he accepted Jesus Christ for his personal Savior. And we look at this second verse, which he had promised, what the Lord had promised, a foe by his prophets into the Holy Scriptures. The Scriptures is right, but our job is to rightly divide God's Word. God's Word will stand even when the world's on fire. And you can put all your faith, 
You can put all your confidence in him because he's the author and the finisher of our faith. And he is able to do what no other power can do. The Bible tells us as he began to continue to write the third verse, he said concerning his son Jesus Christ. Amen. Talking about the one that died on the cross of Calvary. Died for the sin of the whole entire world. Our Lord. Let me go back over this verse again. Concerning his son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which were made of the seed of David. Amen, sister and brother. And it was according to the flesh. Jesus had to put on a robe of flesh in order to die for the sin of the whole entire world. Why did he do it? Because he loved us. He loved all mankind. The Bible tells us every move on down to this fourth verse and declare to be the Son of God with power. Talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. After he died on the cross of Calvary, he received the power. Amen. From above. The Bible said, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. This didn't happen and couldn't happen until Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. He died for the sin of the whole entire world. He the author and he the finish of our faith. And when we accept him then we become part of Jesus Christ. Amen power that he received whenever he died on the cross of Calvary. And we also receive the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. We receive him that he may lead and guide us into all truth. You ain't gonna get it with your natural ability. You're gonna only get it God's way. Every move on down to this fifth verse, by whom we have received grace. Grace is something that we wasn't born with. Amen. And the apostleship for the obedience to the faith among all nations now. When Jesus come on the scene, amen, in the flesh, he didn't come to all nations, but now whenever he come to Apostle Paul ministry, it comes to all nations. Amen. Why did it come to all nations? For his name, for Jesus' name's sake. That's the reason why, sister and brothers. Amen. And we move on down now to this sixth verse. Among whom are ye also the call, amen, call of Jesus Christ. Talking about call, amen, he the one have a call on our lives, amen, to all that be in Rome, amen, beloved of God, called to be saints. Talk about those who have made Jesus their choice now. Amen. He said grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Paul, amen, began to travel after he, amen, received the Lord. Now he is going, he is fin to desire, amen, to visit Rome, amen. He had a word to tell those Roman peoples. 
that they had never heard before. The Bible tell us as we move on down to this 8th verse, First I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith, amen, is spoken of throughout the whole world. Amen. We're back there in that time in Paul day. He went there and it was spoken at that time through the whole entire world. God revealed those truths to this man. Amen. Let's move on down to this ninth verse here. For God is my witness who I serve with my spirit. So I ain't talking about the Holy Spirit. He's talking about his spirit now. Paul's spirit in the gospel of his son that without ceasing I may mention that you always in my prayers. What that tell us? We ought to pray for one another. We ought to love one another. Amen. Because God has stamped his love in our heart. And when we pray in earnest prayer, prayer will change things. He is able to do what no other power can do. Amen. God is a God that knows all things. Let me go back over this whole ninth chapter again. For God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son that without ceasing, amen, I may mention of you always in my prayers. He teaching us something here. We should always pray. And we should always love mankind. How is it that we can love mankind if they don't love us? You can love him because the love of God has been shared abroad in your heart. And you can't help from loving mankind. Because God has ordained this sister and brothers. And not, I love you because you love me. And if you ain't stunning me, then I ain't stunning you. That is not God's way. God's way is the love in spite of. Amen. Amen. Let's move on down to this 10th verse. Making requests. If by any means now at length. I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come into you. Paul is traveling. Amen. He had a word. Where did he receive that word from? He received the word, Amen, from a raven. Whenever, Amen, uh, God began to speak to him, Word that hadn't been uttered. Word that from Genesis to Revelation hadn't been uttered. But now God have opened it up to this man in the book of Romans. For what age? The age of the church. The body of Christ. Oh, sisters and brothers, God can do what no other power can do. Amen. That 11th verse for I long to see you. Paul was anxious. He was anxious, amen, to tell the love story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that I may impart into you some spiritual gifts. These spiritual gifts were something, sister and brother, wasn't known until God get it to Apostle Paul. He get it to him for the age of the church, the body of Christ. To the end, ye may be established. Amen. Established because of the spiritual gift that he brought to the old peoples. That they may be able to mature and grow in the grace of God. And sister and brother, that is our job. 
now. Paul is gone now. But we are to continue, amen, to use this spiritual gift that God has given us that we may be established in the faith. Amen. Leaning and dependent upon the Lord. Prep verse. That is that I may be comfort together with you. By the neutral faith, both you and me. Paul, amen, didn't know these peoples, but Paul, amen, God had given him enough power on the inside to show love. And then he come to speak not his own wisdom. Amen. He's speaking the word that these people may mature and grow in the grace of God. This is what about the church, sisters and brothers. The church is to grow. Amen. And then give God all the honor and the praise. Don't praise ourselves. The preacher don't praise himself. Amen. It's only what God have invested in earthly vessels. And we ought to be able to tell him thank you for it. As we look at this 13th verse now, as we go on down to this 13th, amen. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, amen, that oftentimes I purpose to come to you, but will let hitherto I will hinder what it really means that I might have some fruit among you also even as among other Gentiles. Amen. You don't find this language in the four gospel books because when Jesus come to the scenery, amen, he said, I come only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And now, amen, Paul now has a message not only to Jews, but Jews and Gentiles. I, I hope we can see this, our sisters and brothers. Amen. And he is to spread the word. If you know in the word of wisdom, you go to use it with all your heart, all your mind, and with all your understanding. And he recognized he was to spread that word. How you know that, Atkin? Listen at this 14th verse. I am debtor. Amen. Both to the Greek and to the barbarian. Amen. Both to the wise and the unwise. Amen. Well then, who is he leaving out? He ain't leaving nobody out. Amen, the wise and the unwise. Amen. That's what we supposed to use and bring it to mankind. The Bible tells us as we move on down uh, to this 15th verse, so as much as in me, so God had given it to this man. He didn't give it to the quail. Amen. They know nothing about this message. It was given to Apostle Paul for the age of the church. Amen. So much as in me is I am ready to preach the gospel. Amen to you that are at Rome also. Amen. He had the power of the gospel on the inside of him. Amen. He had this, amen, power for the age of the church, the body of Christ. Amen. Bible tell us as we move on down, as we look at this great power of the gospel, that invested in this man here, sister and brother, 16th verse, 
For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe. Amen. So he ain't leaving nobody out. Amen. The Bible said to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And that means Gentile and Jews. For the age of the church, what we call the body of Christ. You have to put it in its proper place and timing. The Bible tells us, as I move on down to the 17th verse, for therein uh, is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Amen. And it is written, the just shall live by faith. We have to have faith to believe the finished work. The finished work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And sister brothers, when Adam ate the forbidden fruit, there's another part. Now we're going to deal with the guilt of mankind. This guilt of mankind and if he don't accept Christ Jesus for his personal Savior, he'll never make the journey. There are ways that seem is right. And the Bible gives an account of it. Amen. Let's look at this 18th verse here now. For the wrath of God. Amen. It revealed from heaven against all ungodliness, unrighteousness of men. Amen. Who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Don't hold on to nothing you don't know nothing about. You, 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 you trust God. God is the revealer. He revealed the truth to us. Amen. The Bible tells us as we move on down. Now to this 19th verse. Amen. Because that which may be known of God is manifest. That means made known in them. For God has showed it into them. The Bible tells us as we move on down to this quintus verse for the invisible thing of him from the creation of the world are cl clearly seen. Amen. Being understood by the thing that are made. Even his eternal power. Amen. And Godhead. When you talk about the Godhead, who are you talking about? You talking about the Father. You talking about the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So that they are without skew. Excuse. Amen. When we you read the Bible, the Bible given count of what God had revealed to us, and it would call mankind then to, not to have no excuse. Amen. When Jesus' word is going forth, it don't leave excuses. It will call you to be able to mature and grow in the grace of God. The Bible tells us, as we move on down to this second verse, because that when they knew God, amen, they know God, sisters and brothers, amen, by the world, by the world that he had made, amen. When they know him and that, amen, and they glory, amen, they glorify him not as God. They didn't pay him no mind when he made the world, amen. It was something that was new to them and they were in the world and they didn't have no clue, amen. And they did their own thing. Amen. Neither were thankful 
The Bible tell us, amen, but become vain. Talk about mankind. That one that wouldn't accept him. Amen. In their imagination. And their and their foolish heart were darkened. Amen. The word they could recognize, amen, what God had made and recognize, amen, he was the author, but they didn't pay in their bill of mind. Now because of that, look at the peoples, amen, supposed to be wise peoples. Listen at this, sister and brother, professing themselves to be wise, amen, they became fools. Amen. Opportunity was there, but they didn't pay it no mind. Amen. What about in our time? A whole lot of people don't pay God word no mind today. Look over it. Amen. Don't mean a thing. Amen. But you ain't have no hope whenever you walk away from the word of truth. And we look at this 23rd verse. Amen and chain the glory of the incorruptible God. They try to chain God. Amen. Lacking into men, sister and brother. Oh, this is in the book. Let me go back over it again. And chain the glory of God, of the incorruptible God into the image made like to corruptible men. They Thought of God, God won't no more than a man to him. Amen, sister and brother. Amen. And to birds. Amen. And four-footed beasts and creeping things. Amen. They looked on God as no more than just a bird. Amen, sister and brother. They didn't, wouldn't accept the offer that he had offered. Now because of that, Amen. There's going to be a great price. Listen at this, sister and brother, because of that. Wherefore, the 24 verse, wherefore God gave them up to uncleanness. Amen. God gave them up. Amen. They recognized, amen, the, the heaven, amen, and, and looked on God as no more than a, a, a beast or something. Amen. Now God is dealing with them. Let me go back over to again the 24th verse. Wherefore God gave them up to uncleanness through the lush. Come out the desire of their own heart. Amen. Had an opportunity, but they wouldn't accept it. Now, amen. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. When God made man, when God made man and woman, he made the woman, he made man first, and then he made woman. And the old woman and man was to come together, and that that the way the world will, will fill up with peoples. Amen, sister and brother. God ordained this. And he didn't ordain it no other way. But let us look at this change. Amen, because they wouldn't pay God way no mind. And it's a dangerous thing, then you don't know who don't want pay God way no mind. Amen. Who changed the truth. Look at the old peoples back there then. And the woman with that same mind today doing the same thing. Amen. Who chained the truth of God into a lie. And worship. Amen. And serve the creature more than the creator. Amen. They made, amen, the creature. Amen. They cared more for the creature than they did the creator. Amen. What a sad commentary this is, sister and brother. Amen. And this creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And they walked away from it. 
Hey, mankind did this, sister and brother. And, and because of that, because they wouldn't pay him no mind, looked on him as just a beast. Amen. For this cause, amen, because of what they looked on Jesus as a beast. Amen. God gave them up to into vow affection. Amen. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. Amen. Women and men, sister and brother, it is in the book. And this is far from God's way of doing things. God made man and woman that they may mother ply. Well, how in the world you got mother ply woman with woman and men with men? Is it possible? I'll tell you nay. Amen. And now this is the word of God. Amen. And did this happen? Amen. If it didn't happen, then, sister and brother, the word is up true. So we know this has happened. God has turned people over into that reprobate mind. Amen. And that's what they would seek after. Amen. The Bible tell us the 27th verse. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use, amen, of the woman burning in their lush, in their desire, one towards another. Amen. Men with men. Ready that in our time? I wonder do we recognize that. This is, this is even in our time, sister and brother. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. Amen. And receive in themselves that record spent of their error, which was met. Amen. Sister and brothers, this, you got to read the whole book. Amen. You can't, amen. You, you don't hear, you don't hear this one too much. Amen. Sister and brother, but in the book. Amen. We don't fall to be that way. God is able to fix it. So, amen. And he is able to even when one get like that, he said he were like that. That that another place. He, he said he were like that, but they made a vow face. So you can't look at it. You see that as well. He up on the way to hell. He still don't have to go to hell, or she don't have to go to hell because, Amen. If they make that vow face, God can, will save them. But the, but they got to move out of this, what we are talking about here today. Amen. The 28th verse. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Amen. I want it my way. Amen. It's about me. No, it ain't about us. It's about God. And we look at, amen, sister and brother, ways of of their own knowledge, talking about natural ability, what did God do for those men and women? God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Amen. Who gave them that reprobate mind? God did. Amen. Because of their, amen, looking at him no more than a, a, a beast. Amen. Let me go back over this again. This 28 verse. And even as they did not like to attain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do the things which are not convenient. Amen. That is not God's way of doing things. God, amen, didn't make woman for woman. Didn't make man for man. Just look at it, sister and brother. Uh, when God made Adam and Eve. Amen, sister and brother. And then when he, they had some children. 
Now, sister and brothers, if if them boys wouldn't would have been like these people here, the world could never been populated. Amen, because you have to be populated by who? Woman and who? Man! Oh, I hope we see this. It don't happen, sister and brother. Amen. God got a plan. God has a way. Amen. To do those things which are not convenient. Amen. This is the kind of stuff that these people that hooked up to, sister and brother. Amen. Being full, full with unrighteousness, fornication, weakness, covenant, malicious, amen, full of envy, murder, debate, defeat, malignous, amen, whispers, backbiters, amen, haters of God. Despise of uh, proud boasting, boasters, inventing of evil things. Amen. Disobedient to parents. Amen, sister and brother. These things that we, I'm talking about is going on now in the same world in which we are now living in. Without understanding, amen, sister and brother, they have natural ability and they don't have no spiritual understanding, so they are without understanding, covered breakers, amen, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Mm -hmm. uh, sister and brothers, this is the way the world Amen. Is even the day. And yes, God got some peoples, but then there are many, sister and brother, is hooked up. Hooked up on what we are talking about today. Who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things, amen, are worthy of death. That the Bible. Amen. Not only which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do this, amen, do the same. Amen. They do the very same thing. But having pleasure in them that do them. Pleasure, sister and brother. And sister and brother, God has a way of doing things. And he loved mankind so well, amen, that you know man, is, is, uh, God is not going to excuse man for this type of doing if he don't make that vow faith. How do you know that, Atkin? Well, when I read this uh, Roman 2, 2, 1, listen what Roman 2, 1 tell us, amen. For therefore, thou art. Inexcusable. Amen, O oh man, whosoever thou art that judge for wherein thou judges another, thou condemn thyself. For though the judge do the same thing. Amen. The Bible tell us as we move on down to the second verse here. Amen. But we are sure that the judgment of God now, amen, is according to the truth. According to them which commit such thing. The Bible tells us, as we move on down to this third verse here, amen, and thinkest thou this, O man, that judges them which do such thing and do, do the same that thou shalt escape the judgment of God. Amen. Don't you think if he hooked up in there and don't make that vow faith, amen, they won't escape it. 
it gonna it gonna come on both true sister and brother if they don't make about faith. The Bible tell us as we move on down to this full verse here. Amen. Uh, despise us thou the richness of the goodness. Amen. And the forbearing and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God lead thee to repentance. Amen. So don't you see? Do they have a chance? Yes, if they made that vow face. <clears throat> I hope we see this, sister and brother. Amen. But after they, after thou hardened and the impenitent hard, tread you up unto themselves wrath against the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will run unto every man according to his deed. God going to uh, let every man come and he got to give an account of the deed that they is doing if they don't make that about faith. Amen. They have opportunity. Amen. But God let us to know, every folks stated, I don't know. I don't know, sister and brother, why have I ever heard this preached or not. Might have, but I see that to me, I can't recall it. Amen. We want to duck this. <laughs> Amen. But it isn't here. Amen. And you you one part of it. You got to continue to, amen, you the other part. Amen. The Bible tells us, amen, to them who by patience, continuous, and well doing, seek for glory and honor and mortality, eternal life. Amen. But unto them that are continuous and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteousness in the nation and wrath amen what will come to that individual according to the scripture tribulation and anguish amen upon every soul of man that doeth evil amen of the Jew first and also the Gentiles. But glory and honor, amen, and peace to everyone that worketh good, amen, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentiles. So there is a way out. Amen. There's a way out, sister and brother. God has a way. He has a plan. Amen. And when you do it His way, you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed God's way. For there is no respect to person with God. For as many as have sinned without the law, listen at this, shall also perish without the law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be jured by the law. Amen. Uh, for not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doer of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles, amen, when the Gentiles have not the law. So we ain't never been under the law. We have them. Amen. Do the night natural, the thing contained into in the law, these have not the law, or a law into themselves, according to the scripture. 15. Amen. Which show the work of the law written in their heart. Their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts, amen, the mean, quiet, accusing, or uh, excusing one another. The Bible tells us, as we go down to this last verse here, 
Amen. The 16th verse here. And in the day when God shall judge the secret of man by Jesus Christ. I want you to get this real good here, sister and brother. How is it that we going to be judged? Amen. Is we going to be judged from the Old Testament scripture? Are we going to be judged? Amen. According to when Jesus come on the face of this earth. Talk about the church now. How are we going to be judged, sister and brothers? Let me go back over this verse here. Amen. This is why you need to know something about Paul's letter. Listen at this. In the day which God shall judge the secret of man by Jesus Christ. Amen. These last four words here, according to my gospel, according to Paul's gospel, from Roman to Philemon. Oh, I hope we see this. Amen. You ain't going to be judged over here, sister and brother. You're going to get it. You're going to get it whose way? You got to get it God's way. God bless you. God bless you. Don't clock on the wall. Don't clock on the wall. And then that can know. Time for me to get out of here. But if you ain't enjoying this radio program, will you write me a letter sometime? Walter Atkin Jr., Post Office Box 1142, Tarver, North Carolina. This is Walter Atkin Jr. saying, Amen. And Amen.